You know, simply doing the right thing doesn't always ensure smooth sailing for your days nor keep you out of troubling situations. But we can always look to the Lord for refuge and safety in every situation. In 1 Samuel 19, we read about David. David's situation seems to be going from bad to worse. You see, King Saul was jealous of David. And Saul allowed his jealousy to fester to the point that he was ready to assassinate David. But David's friend, Jonathan, the king's son, intervened, reasoned with his father, and for a moment, it would seem, calmed his envious father. But another war came for the people of Israel, and David, choosing to do the right thing, fought for his king and fought for his country. And we learn from God's word that David was a valiant leader in war. Verse 8 tells us that David and his men fought the Philistines with such fury that their enemy completely retreated. And once again, Saul goes on the attack, not against his Philistine enemies, but against David. And this time, David's wife intervenes and helps him escape Saul's attempt on his life. And as Saul is pursuing David, we read of this interesting account in this chapter where Saul's men, who were sent to capture and kill David, and even Saul himself, are all overcome by the Spirit of God. And both Saul and his men begin prophesying. Now, here's the thing. Honestly, I can't explain all that is happening here. Perhaps this is God reaching out and giving Saul an opportunity to repent. I'm not sure. I don't know. But this peculiar scene evidences that a person can have a remarkable religious experience and yet have no change in character and no true life-changing experience with the Lord. You see, through all of this, what's most impressive about this chapter is how the Lord takes care of David. Even when David was doing the right thing, but getting nowhere with the king, God stepped in through Jonathan, through the help of his wife, even through the help of God's own spirit. You know, many Bible teachers and scholars believe that it was during this time in the life of David that David wrote Psalm 59. And in that Psalm, David writes these words in verse 16, for you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. See, simply doing the right thing may not always keep you out of troubling situations, but we can always look to the Lord for refuge and safety in every situation.